Good afternoon, my little potato chips. How are you doing? It's wee Paddy from across the shock. And it's three for Thursday, my little series that I started. And I'm so thankful that so many people have joined in and I'm really enjoying the challenge of getting three three different knives, three knives the same with different materials. Whatever it is you choose, I love to do it. And if you haven't got three that you really like, put one or two up if you've just started. Doesn't matter. Just show your knives off. That's all three for Thursday is, is show three knives off. If you can get a link between them, all the more better. But here's a simple one for today. And I just want this for people who are moving. saying, oh, I'd love to do it, but I've nothing I want. Here's my simple one for today. It's three different types of micarta in the handles that I really enjoy. These are knives that I enjoy and that are in my collection and are staying for, you know, for the near future anyway, because I love the handles and how they feel and how they interact with me using the knife. So it's going to be a quick, brief one. And I'm going to start at the my, this one here, which is a locking knife. Listen to this. I just now if you can't enjoy that knife there's something wrong with you it really is just beautiful and this is the Kaiser and it's the U it's a TI the TI the Kaiser TI it came out originally in um titanium but they've now brought a micarta version out and this micarta is gorgeous now it's not it's not the kind of micarta I would particularly want on my um, slip joints but as a work knife this is the rougher type of micarta now it's by no means jagged there's no bits coming off the edges it's not going to hurt you whatsoever but it has that a texture a proper texture to it and when you cannot look at my thumb watch the nail you can see it just it will not move when it goes on it so it's fantastic for a bigger knife in my opinion i like it in the bigger knife it gives me that solid grip just feels lovely and warm and in the winter it's not ice cold when you go outside like a metal or a titanium knife is. It's got that warm feeling, but it's got a feeling that, and these can take abuse. This is not some sort of um, whimsical little covering. They, these can take abuse. They take the filth off your hands, um, but they're also cleanable. If you just use a little bit of uh, mineral oil on a cloth, you can wipe and clean them up if you want to keep them this way. Um, and it's lovely. It's got a little short pocket clip, which is fantastic. Kaiser really do just, they're right back on the game again. Years ago, they had a real hit with these knives and then now they're coming back again. I love them. This is in 154 cm. Ace, just fantastic steel for a working knife. Easy to, to resharpen again, holds an edge for a fairly long time. And if you want a fancy edge on it, it takes a absolutely fabulous polished edge. But a super grippy work knife. Uh, you know what I mean? It's not ultra thick but it's thick enough to do all EDC work, I think. And I think it's just lovely. That blade shape and that slicer grind, it's not ultra thin at the edge, but it's thin enough that it's going to do some decent work. I mean, you could feather stick with this. And in the, the summer, I really am looking forward to getting out. I'm going to do more videos outside. I'm going to do a campfire video where I just sit around a wee fire, make myself a cup of tea and talk about a couple of knives. I'm so looking forward to the summer. But this is the sort of knife that I'll take out and use just to... If, if I want to do uh, feather sticks or things like that, just make up. You could use it just all about the camp. And as a cooking knife, it's absolutely fantastic because you have that nice belly. So that Kaiser is the first one, the Kaiser T1. And it has a fidgety action. I'm not really a fidgety person, but to just drop like that, it's lovely every now and then. And I do sit and play with this at night time because the noise of it drives my wife and seeing during the day. It's such a loud thwack when it opens. The next one is another one. Uh, this is another super, I got this from QSP. This is an absolutely super knife and it's in 14C28N. Another fantastic blade steel. And I mean, this one was about 70. This one's around the 50 pound mark. It's in micarta and sculpted micarta. So it's not as rough as this, but with the sculpture and the softer micarta, it feels gorgeous. There's no, like you can see, this is proper ridges and all on it, but they've all been hafted and rounded off so that they're not, um, not pointy or jagged in your hand. Once you put this in your hand, again, this is what I would call a working slip joint with that lovely big blade and it's a hollow ground that does come down to a thin edge and you have this wee unusual point. So making it sort of like a sheep's foot, 
but it has a hollow bit just hollow down there and out to a point so for opening packages anything you want bags of soil whatever in the garden super super work knife and that steel is just great 14c28n you know it's a it's not a powder steel um only this one's powdered but and it's just a steel that again it's easy to sharpen it holds an edge for a reasonable long time Everything I want in a little pocket knife. Uh, did I think it? No, it didn't come with a clip. No, this one didn't come with a clip. It's lovely just to throw in the pocket. It's light. My carta uh, is a light substance, so it's really great for keeping the weight down in knives. But this is a fantastic option from QSP. Lovely half stop and that big thud when it goes down into that micarta, which will dull because you've got the back spring. It dulls the sound of it. But a super knife, and I I, I want to see more of this. You know, different ridges on the micarta because it is fantastic. And then this is a, a little fancy pants knife, which kind of hides itself because of simplicity. It's just super. This is the Ace Farley. Um, I, I just adore this knife. Now, this came in a green micarta like that, and I dyed it blue. This was a sapphire blue. I dyed it just a couple of minutes in, and... It takes an absolutely amazing colour. Micarta is one of those things, if you want to get into trying to, you know, change your, your carry, you know, you can change this to nearly, what in it, with it, when it's this light, you can change it to nearly any colour you want. But this this was, uh, this had got my filth on it because I'd used it for about a year. Um, it's got M390. This is a neon like opening. There's no fast. Now, this one did come with a pocket clip, a wire pocket clip, but, I didn't want that. I just throw it in my pocket. It's small. It's light enough. Look at that beautiful blade. Beautiful drop point blade. Um, thin behind the edge, but not excessively thin. And it doesn't need to be because the, the blade stock is not that thick either. This will cut through anything. It's fantastic. And the M390 seems to be really well heat treated because I've only ever sort of stropped this in the last year that I've had it. I adore this knife, really is. And this micarta is the, do you know, this knife, while we're on about it, this knife is what the bench made proper should have been. It really is. It's just such a huge upgrade in a knife at not much more money. This is £150. You can get this in Framar Knives. This is the boys where you get the uh, Jack Wolf knives over here. Um, they have these and other of the Ace models in there. But this one is just super, absolutely, you know, it's lightweight. It's just over two ounces, I think. Um, you don't feel it in your pocket. I have this here just to help pull it out if I want to. And I, if I'm in use and I'm using it about, you know, I'm in and out of my pockets, all I do is stick this in my fifth pocket and it sticks out of my fifth pocket. So it's easy to grab and use if I'm constantly pulling it in and out. So that's the way I tend to use my pocket knives. If I want, because people say, well, you have to get it right out of the bottom of your pocket. You've maybe got a, no. You just stick a tip of it in your fifth pocket. It's deep enough to hold it securely while you're working. And you just pull it in and out as you need it. I love this knife. And honestly, that color is so good on what was this color. So you can change. I've done them in red. I've done the Jack Wolf knives, which is another micarta very similar to this, that takes a dye fantastically. It's a bit of a more harder texture. This is warm. This is warm and soft. But the micarta on the Jack Wolf knives, again, takes... I've done two of them. If you go back, you'll have a look. Uh, I've dyed two of them, uh, and they came out fantastic. So micarta is a great way if you want to... You're not really... Like myself, I'm not great with my hands. I don't tend to do a lot of modifications, but this is a great modification I can do. And this has made this knife brand new again. I mean, you don't have the 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 filth signature on it that, that that it had on it, which again I like it as well. I just fancied an upgrade and a change, and it does. It's a very simple knife. One of my favourite knives. Full stop. In fact, all three of these are really high up on my you know to recommend the Kaiser T1 the um, QSP Hedgehog and the Ace Farley, if you want to spend that little bit more, um, is really, really worth it for a pocket knife that will do anything. So there you go. That's my three for Thursday. Keeping it simple. Um, but, you know, what's, what's your favourite, my Carter? Do you like the warmer texture, the ridged or the um, the heavily textured, but not... This is, this is grippy texture. Super. Right, there we go. <laughs> Before I get any deeper, and because it's three for Thursday, I'm going to give another three uh, 
channels of shout out that I've just come to. One is Richter, R-I-C-H-T-E-R, Richter Knives, and Doom Crew Outdoors, all one word. D-O-N, look, I'll put them all down below. And the last one, North Star Knife Reviews. They're all under that thousand. They're all on their way. Richter Knives is under a hundred. Fantastic channel. Most of them are heavy into traditionals, but they do do other knives like myself. So they're perfect channels for me. I love them. I've watched them. I highly recommend them. Get over and try them out. They're down below in the description. Um, just hit that wee arrow. It'll drop down the description and they'll be in there. Please go and give them a sub if you like them because we don't all like the same thing. But just go and have a look at them because they're really worth it. Now, there we go. Paddy's away. Happy three for Thursday. Bye-bye now. Bye.